live on live. I'd like to welcome now to the studio Issa Nyafaga. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on Paris Live. Thank you for having me, Olia. I'm Listen very happy to Listen to that lovely here. laugh, that, that warm and welcoming <laughs> laugh. What do you love? I hope you're not laughing at me. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm always smiling. You're because, always smiling. Yeah, because the beauty comes from the heart, from inside. Mm, yes. That's a nice mm-hmm. thought. Yeah. Now, you are the founder of an association, uh, as we say in French, but a, a group uh, called Hope International for Tika People. Yes. Uh, you're also the founder of Radio Taboo. Yes. Uh, which uh, is a very recent project that you've got off the ground. That's right. I'm and a living proof of <laughs> those creations. <laughs> Let, let's begin with, with Radio Taboo because... Uh, I want to find out a little bit more about uh, this uh, project. It's a solar-powered community radio station. Is that yes, correct? Yes, that's right. Yes, we're based in Cameroon, in centre of Cameroon, in a village called Ditam. And then we are 100 kilometres from the first city with electricity and running water. And uh, I grew up as a village child. So after seeing the light, I have to bring it back to the village and knowledge too. Yeah. And Radio Taboo has this name because, well, we can imagine it's uh, for people to express things they would not normally be able to speak about. Is that? Can you tell us a little bit more about the name uh, Radio yes. Taboo? Yeah, the name came from how I grew up because I grew up in the polygamist family. My father, my father had four wives and have 19 brothers and sisters. My mother herself had 10 children and the number seven. And I did not know who gave me birth until I was seven because at the age of seven that's when my mother said let go to our village that's why i said oh you are the one who gave me a birth because in my family uh, cultural uh, mindset is that we don't talk about sex we don't talk about things that and then that's what bring people to the world that's a all part of conversation and also growing in the village and i saw a body being taken to the cemetery three bodies a day so people didn't get treatment didn't get access to information and and then there's also a lot of um, brass ironing. If you can Google that, it's very horrible um, sexual mutilation that they do to girls. And my own sister used to be taken out of school after they get on first period to marry somebody who already have many husbands. They didn't have a choice. My father didn't care that these women need knowledge before they decide they're going to get married. So because of religious reason, reasons, they was able to drop off school and grew up making babies. And I just didn't like that. So I, need to, I needed to do something, and it's that, that's the community radio station. And have you had a lot of uh, support for this? Has the community rallied around and uh, had fun doing this project? Have they enjoyed the they process? Love it. They, they must love enjoy it. it. Yeah, they love it because uh, actually two women are coming back from India this week, yesterday, yes, they came back after spending six months at the Barefoot College, learning how to um, work on solar energy and solar technology, make light, and they're going to maintain radio uh, energy at the radio station and also provide light to other you know, village women. So this is the improvement that the radio brought to the village. And also half of our staff are women. So they're broadcasters, women broadcasters, they're also women reporters, and then they're women technicians. If they're very shy, they don't want to be listened to the radio, they can just do things backstage to make sure that the airways reach people. Because we're also using the radio to fast isolation. And Cameroon, culturally, is a country of language, oral language. We don't have a lot of written language. It was a choice for Africa. But today we broadcast in 10 languages and because uh, access to location are so difficult, so we can just broadcast uh, voices that people listen to. And today it's a golden age for radio to be in Africa because the electronic market is booming in Africa. So there are one cell phone for five people. We are very close to technology. And so it's an amazing transformation in the community. And so I'm seeing a paradise in my lifetime because most of the time people do projects after they die that the result comes. But for me, it's happening now, and I'm very, very happy.
And uh, how did you get this idea? Did, did people come up to you and say, this is, this is what we need in our community? Or you went to them and said, I have this idea. Uh, how did you get uh, the funding to do this, for example? Oh, wow. <laughs> it must but, have been a, a challenge for you. Yes, because um, when after I moved to France in exile for 10 years from 1996 to 2006, where I even worked with Charlie Hebdo here and many other projects like the, the National Assembly of Friends, the United Nations too here. And I started taking wheelchairs to Cameroon because um, there was people with disabilities who couldn't walk, we have to carry them. And I grew up so, so very poor. And I didn't know I was poor because I had my leg, my legs, and I can walk anywhere and carry people with disabilities to take them to the bathroom, to wash them or go get the wood, cooking, everything. So I, didn't, I was so grateful. Then um, I decided that I'm going to make life easier for these people with disability by taking wheelchairs. And then after we brought doctor once, one week in a week, it's the local doctor in Cameroon called Georges Boile. He goes where government doesn't provide medical help for the people and then treat them, give them surgery free. And I partner with him to come to the village. So we have improved life of a lot of people. And then one day we got this grant from the Rotary to drill water for 20,000 people. And most of those people never asked for clean water before. And then one day we say, oh, wow, the, it would be cool to do a, a radio station, you know, so people can just, um, we can just broadcast knowledge for them, education, any information, so they know what is happening. Because access to information is a power. Education is power. For example, me, when I know something about myself or other people, I do better. I can do more transformation if you know that I can't hurt your feelings. You probably don't like meat. I won't invite you to eat meat. No, we can have best friendship, you know. So that's how it is with what I do. And the funding, it was very hard, you know, because um, the only three new things at this radio station is the tower. We got the tower from after Kickstarter campaign in 2012. Then we asked the community to build a place so we can receive a radio. So that's the second new thing. And then the third new thing is the solar energy we developed. But the rest of the equipment, the 70% of the equipment is all recycled. Computers recycled, the the gear is recycled. The the actually the transmitter was given to us by Austin Airwaves. It's another community radio station in Austin, Texas. So everything's recycled, computers. So we're still looking for a lot of equipments because after one he, one and a half year broadcasting, we are now, it's about time now we have to change all the equipment. So that's what we do. We talk to our friends, we talk to other friends so they can bring us staff and we take them in our luggage and do the radio. And you had some American uh, uh, documentary filmmakers come and uh, film you in action, I believe. That sounds like an exciting project. That's right. They're not a grateful a, a best gift than having people telling you a story while they're helping you to help your village. You know, I don't do much in Africa. It's just a tiny village of 3,000 people, and we're going to be impacting maybe um, 1 million people in, in seven years. But I don't do a lot. But if people are coming to tell my story, that's great. So Radio Taboo is a, a documentary from two American filmmakers, Sophie Romania and Jim Menton. And I'm grateful to them because they came to my village to, to tell my story to the world. And what the village did, the village hosts a naming ceremony for them. Because culturally, our investment is people. We invest in people. Because if you make people better, you have a better world. You know, and happiness comes from the heart, you know. It doesn't matter if you're happy in the palace. If you're not happy in the room, you're not happy owning any boat or being owning half of this town. You will not be happy. So that's <laughs> what I'm trying to create in people. And speaking yes. of uh, coming back to your, to, to your um, uh, organization, uh, you mentioned earlier about getting medical supplies, getting doctors to come and visit. This is part of the Hope International for Tika People organization, isn't it? And you've that's done a right. lot of work over the years to, uh, to bring resources and help educate educational and medical. That's right. Have that's you got right. some um, new objectives for this year? Uh, well, what's happened with the radio is that, you know, um, in Africa, uh, s there is no middle class. The middle class is very weak. So you're whether very rich or very poor. So by providing the service for over 10 years, I've been asked to be a mayor. They was wondering if I'm doing that to be a mayor. I said, no, I just want to help. I am an artist. I go around the world, put up shows, bring money to do a project, use money for the local, to support local economy. 
So that's what I do. So now what happened is that they, they like surprise me one morning and put a hat on my head and say I'm a notable. So I become like a community leader. Is there ever, you know, acknowledgement that I ever have doing this work? So we don't actually have office fees because the village organization and people help each other. So what we tell them is that transformation comes when people are happy and then you're also happy. You improve yourself, improve your life, your family, so we can have a better world. So that's what we're doing. Mm, so you're, we're doing. you're moving uh, for more further forward with this project, helping people and, uh, and encouraging them uh, to, to join in a community spirit. That's, that's what I feel that's here. That's right. Most spirit. importantly, make sure that people access radio because, you know, right now we don't, we're, we're broadcasting for a quarter of a million people, but we need to reach about half a million people by the end of this year because in, in rural Africa, people don't uh, develop a lot of competition. What they develop is jealousy and envy. And we want to make sure they all have the same opportunities by just accessing radio uh, airwaves. That's what we need. And then make sure that we grow bigger because this model of radio is replicable, you know, because people don't buy energy. The sun is just above us. We charge energy and then we're on the air for hours until we run out. And then the next day, charge again. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's not amazing. And, and how, pe- how can people find you, uh, Issa, online? There's a website for your um, organization. Yes. Tell us how we can, we can see more about your projects. They can go to my foundation website, hitip.org. And if they want to access the radio page, it's radiotaboo.org. It's on the same website, but there's, there's so much information, but they can also see what we're doing there. We have first radio listeners, you know, first people who ever listened to the radio by 2017. You see them amazed hearing voice coming out of this little box. <laughs> you see everything in the website. Excellent. Well, okay. thank you so much for being the guest on Paris Live thank, on Radio France International. Thank you for having me, Olia. It's a pleasure to be here. Issa Nyafaga from Cameroon, <laughs> the founder you. of Radio Taboo <laughs> and also the Hope International for Tika people. Good luck with your projects. Thank you very much. And I greet all your listeners. Thank you. Bye. Ciao.